Hi everybody, Julie Ebersol for AllenHudson.com. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today I'm going to be making a floating images card inspired by a project I'd seen done by my friend Jennifer McGuire. It was so cute I had to try it myself. And I'm going to be working with Avery L's new splash set, which is hilarious. It's got these cool chicks hanging out by the pool. So much fun. Here you can see the different images in the set. It comes with a coordinating die set too that has a swimming pool. Super fun. So I've already got the images I want to work with loaded onto the Misty, and I'm taking some quarter sheets of Nina Solar White, and I'm going to ink up with a Versafine Claire. This is a, a like a improved formula on the original Versafine ink, and this color is called Nocturne. It's a nice deep rich black, but they've got a really nice color range now in these Versafine inks, and so look for the Claire line in the shop. That's awesome. I love how crisply they stamp. It's a pigment ink that is very quick drying, and you can use uh, colored pencils, you can use water-based markers over it, and watercolor over the top. So as you can see here, I've got a really nice crisply stamped image, and I made multiples of this so I could have them handy so I could color them in and die cut them very quickly. I even stamped some on some watercolor paper. Now I'm working with a particular color palette from the Color Trend this month that's featuring uh, the color purple, which is, um, what do they call it, ultraviolet. And I pulled all my pencils that I thought would work with that color palette there. And I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring things in. I love these Prismacolor pencils. They lay down color like butter, very smooth. And I'm going to fill in, you know, the girls with a, a little bit of a flesh tone colored pencil and then do their bathing suits in colors that coordinate with that color trend badge that I showed you earlier. So once I'm happy with everything that's colored, I'm going to go ahead and use the coordinating die set to die cut all the images that I want to work with on this particular card, including the pool. And I die cut the pool from some uh, card shop cardstock that's in a beautiful aqua color, as well as Nina Solar White 80 pound, because I want that edge of the pool in that white color. And I'm going to pop everything up with a little bit of foam adhesive tape because I want them to be a little bit up off the surface. So I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and get all of these pre-prepped with the foam mounting tape so I can continue planning my layout. So once I've got the tape on all of these, I can kind of futz around with the sentiment. I wanted to use the sentiment that says, keep calm and float on, which just makes me smile so much. I love this set. <laughs> And I've taken a piece of Icy Mint card shop that's going to go on the front of my card. It's going to be the top panel. And I put the swimming pool water there temporarily in place. And I'm going to anchor everything down with the magnets and get my sentiment in place. Load that onto the lid of the Misty. And then go ahead and use VersaFine uh, Nocturne, this beautiful deep rich black, once again, to ink up and stamp that right there into the body of water. That is the pool. So now I can go ahead and take a small circle die. This is just slightly smaller than my girl who's floating on the pineapple floaty thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and die cut a hole through my swimming pool water. And once I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it off with a pencil onto that icy mint panel that's gonna go on the front of my card. I could have tried to die cut through the two layers, but because this is a heavier weight cardstock, I was afraid it wouldn't go through all the layers very easily, so I just decided to um, trace it and then go ahead and cut it again a second time without, you know, futzing with it and trying to get through two layers at one time. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some tape runner all across the back of the water of my pool and then go ahead and get that mounted in place onto the icy mint panel. And I'm going to take care to make sure that my sentiment is... Uh, you know, it's not cattywampus, it's straight up and down, but my pool is just kind of slightly angled for this particular layout. And once I have that mounted in place, I'm going to go ahead and take the white edge, you know, this is just the outer edge of the pool, and I'm just going to use a liquid adhesive like Tombow uh, Mono Multi and go ahead and get that mounted in place. I'm just using my tweezers to kind of position that, and then I'm just going to use my fingertips to go around the edges and burnish it down to make sure that it is glued down firmly all across the surface. Now, once I've got that in place, it's time to go ahead and start making the mechanism that's going to go around on the back side. And I chose another size circle die from that same infinity circle set by Hero Arts. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out of a scrap of that same pretty aqua paper that I had. I always have scraps in my bin for that. And this is perfect. I mark the center with a pencil. I'm going to put that behind the hole that I already die cut in the pool 
and grab some of these circular pop dots that I've had for forever. I have thousands of them. So I'm trying to go through them and use them up before I start using uh, other items to create the same effect. And since they're round, they're going to be perfect for this. And I decided to double up on these um, just to make them twice as high because they're only about maybe an eighth of an inch thick and maybe not even quite that. So I decided to double them up and give my little uh, girl who's floating on the pineapple some extra loft. So I'm going to go ahead and mount her on top of that and then add on the back side of that panel some more foam mounting tape. And as I was adding this tape, I realized that the circle that I had used there was just not quite large enough to be concealed behind that opening on that front panel. So what I'm going to do is carefully peel that off and remove it without damaging anything. Apply a little bit more tape runner to those pop dots on the back side there. And I die cut a larger circle that uh, will not uh, leave a gap when it gets mounted behind. Here you can see I've marked it with a pencil the same as I did the first uh, circle that I put there. And then I'm just going to remount my little floaty girl there right over the center of that. And there you can see um, I don't have to worry about any of the gaps showing because that larger circle is doing the job that it needs to. So I can spin her around a little bit. <laughs> this is a really fun card. So now it's time to mount this panel to the card front and I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, adhesive liners off on the center areas and then just partially remove them on the outer edges. These will give me some little flaps or handles to hang on to so that I can see where I'm going when I mount this to the front of the card. And if I don't get it on perfectly, I have a little bit of fudge room because it hasn't been mounted completely and cemented to that card front. So once I'm sure I've got it where I want it, I can go ahead and pull those adhesive liners away from the rest of the card. And then I can go ahead and mount the rest of the little dimensional objects like this. Um, diving board and the other little floaty which uh, you know it's just kind of a little donut there got that in place and there you can see my girl she's floating around this is such a fun card I did actually add some of that uh, shimmer pen um, to the bathing suit and the other donut there just to give them a little bit of glam but this is just a really fun project I urge you to try it they're so cute and they're so fun I love this set by Avriel